Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm directing this video at the younger black male demographic. So I guess anywhere from 17 to 26. Um, I guess for me that is what I classify as a younger black man. Um, but I mean if you feel like the age range is smaller or wider, you know, it really doesn't matter. if The message is still the same. Um, now when you're in this demographic, part of the struggle is figuring out who you are. Um, every man wants to have some sort of persona that's powerful. Um, you know, a persona that doesn't show that he's weak, that he's able to hold his own, and that he can do well in this world. Um, unfortunately, a, a lot of black men don't understand how to achieve this. Um, we feel as if we have to choose one of these personas that I say are inside the box. So in order to be a powerful black man, we have to do one of these, uh, or we have to adopt one of these personas, whether it's, you know, the, the athlete or the the playboy, Mr. Mandingo, the hustler, the thug, uh, and you name it, right? We can keep going, but one of these personas that we often see, right? One of these uh, stereotypes, these stereotypical characters. Um, and we feel as if if we do these things really well, this will... Enable, uh, enable us to satisfy this whole wanting to be powerful and to be respected and oftentimes or most of the times in my opinion it fails why because it, it goes against what you want when you choose those personas um, you're saying that you're pretty much indirectly giving your enemy or people who want to hurt or exploit you the guidebook on how to do so case in point okay if I know you are Mr. Mandingo Mr. Oversex what does that mean well every day you're gonna leave your house going after one thing right most of what you do will be related to getting one thing therefore I know how to exploit you I know how to beat you at your own game okay if I'm Mr. Uh, P. Diddy money cars and all this other stuff I know how to beat you right because I know if you have a dollar I know exactly where your dollar is going okay if I want to convince you of you know that you need to do this that and third I know how to do so okay because your focus is so limited your mode of operation has already been established and you know I know where you're gonna be before you know where you're gonna be um, so like I said you know we choose these personas because we think it's going to help us in the long run but it doesn't because most people know what's going on Okay, people aren't necessarily fearful of, uh, I would say, the thug or the gangster. They're just called the police, right? And they're not fearful because they know what you're going to do. Okay, yeah, they may be scared for the moment, but overall, there is no fear when you see a black man walking down the street because you know what he's going to go after, right? He's either going to... Uh, uh, try to get with you, right, or try to rob you, right, sometimes that's as simple as it is, and it's just like, well, it's either A or B, right, so there's real, you as a black dude really have no power, because they already know what you're going to do, and what I'm trying to say is, the power that you're looking for comes from when you negate and you, you know, forego all those other BS stereotypes, because now you are somebody who doesn't have a, 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 an identified mode of operation. No one knows your goals. No one knows what you're after. If somebody gives you a thousand bucks, no one knows how you're going to spend it. Where is it going to go? And that's where the true power comes into play. Okay? Because you challenge people's perceptions. People wake up every day knowing that the earth is going to uh, uh, rotate that is the the sun's gonna come up and the sun's gonna go down um, that they're gonna breathe air and that black men are either going to be you know some sort of mandingo the gangster p diddy playboy you know it's almost part of what the world is right it's almost you know natural but once you break that that's when the true power comes into play because people just can't walk by you or deal with you and know to a T what you're about to get yourself into. They don't know what drives you. They don't know what motivates you. So they can't easily corrupt you or they can't easily separate you from your money. And that's the key. When you break 
those stereotypes, when you negate those personas, that's when you truly get that power. The true power. Don't get it confused. Don't, you know, a lot of the times we turn on TV and we think that it's the athletes and the, uh, 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 the, the, the entertainers who have all the power. Look at their lives. Look how controlled their lives are. Everything that they do is orchestrated. Look. Just look at it. How many NFL players get into trouble almost weekly because they thought that they were, you know, doing something big? How many entertainers thought they were the man, this, that, and the third, and, you know, they get stuck with paying all sorts of alimony and child support? Right? How powerful are these men? Right? I mean, think about it. You look at your favorite artist. Half the time they'll tell you, I don't want to talk about what I'm talking about. But the white man says, he's not going to pay me unless I talk about uh, money, cars, and hoes. You know, Jay-Z said it himself in the... Uh, you know, in terms of when he said he would rather, you know, rap like Common, right? Common the rapper, but it wouldn't uh, make common sense for him to do so. Meaning that, hey, I would like to talk about this, but in order for you to make money, I have to talk about that. So where is the true power in that? Think about it. These men have a whole bunch of money, but where is the true power? Right? How many rappers do we see making all a whole bunch of money, but they still feel like they have to... Uh, dress a certain way and act a certain way because you know some article will come out questioning their hood credibility right how like I said before how many athletes and rappers get in trouble weekly simply be and these guys are millionaires okay they don't have to do anything anybody says quite frankly they can go off and do what they have to do but how often do they get in trouble because they're buying into some persona because they think that's how they're gonna be respected that's how they're gonna be taken as being powerful black men and that's the problem. You are easily controlled to the point where your money doesn't matter. All it means is people have greater access to separating you from your money. Okay? Um, so you have to understand what you seek, the power that you want, comes from your ability to separate yourself from all that bullshit. Separate yourself from people who want to force you into that stereotype because it makes them comfortable. You know, it's a sick, it's it's a sick relationship. Okay, you know, the the lady that clutches her purse in the bank when you walk by. It's comfortable for her because that's what she assumes that you want. Okay, so her clutching her purse and you seeing that is almost how it was planned out to be. But just imagine if you walk in and you you know you don't even care about what's in her purse and you're trying to do what you have to do. Like you know, you're irrelevant to me. Then she's going to have to think to herself, well, who does this guy think he is? He doesn't know his place. Okay? And that's when the power comes. When people look at you and they feel like you're out of place and you don't know what you're doing. That's the power. That's the true power. When you start showing up and people can't put you in a box. When you show up and people can't write you off as, oh, look at him. You know, he's the oversexed black man. Or he's the, you know, super flashy, bling blingy black dude. Or he's the, you know, uneducated, uh, thug this, thug that. But when you walk into places and you deal with employers, employees, uh, co-workers, classmates, or whatever. And, you know, they can't put that label on you. That's where the respect comes from. And that power that you seek that's where it comes from okay it, it, it really has little to do with how much money you have and how big your rims are or how big your chain is now eventually hopefully you know you stepping outside the box will help you get financial gain and in my eyes it will but the true power you know it you don't even have to have the big bank account for that power to come you really don't so, you know, like I said, if you're a black dude, um, you know, in this, and you're still under that younger black man category, man, understand that the power you seek doesn't come from you doing the whole uh, typical black male stereotype thing well. It comes from you avoiding it. Because people can't, people will not have the rule book on how to defeat you. They, they're not going to know what motivates you. So they almost have to walk on eggshells. They almost have to deal with you and work with you because they're not sure what you're going to do. That's the true power. So you guys take it easy. Tell me how you feel. God bless.